Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. It is probably about 87 degrees. It's a Sunday. And it's been a really long weekend. So I want to give you guys an update. I haven't... Uh, I try to put out roughly two videos a week. Just keeping you guys updated on what I'm doing. But the last couple weeks have been really whew, really stressful really long my son's birthday party was yesterday it was saturday and uh, i spent basically all week getting ready for it you know mowing grass i had to do that twice this week actually i did it three times this week to just catch up make everything look perfect we had a big blow up house and you know the the wife likes to go overboard for birthday so there's a lot of setup a lot of tear down and it just it just wore me out so uh, we had a huge like 40 foot blow up out in the backyard here and I managed look I managed to kill my grass right there uh, That thing right there was there four or five hours. It managed to do that. So yeah awesome uh, But um, Clean my pool up today Got it ready for uh, summer here, which it was a swamp, so I had to clean all that up. Still haven't cleaned my grill up from yesterday. I know I'm slacking. But I want to give you guys an update on the Regal. I still don't know what I want to call it. Maybe you guys can come up with a name. Right now it's a colander, I'll tell you that. Because it just keeps on giving, boy. Every time I pull something out of it, I find another hole. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting with, I don't know, like a paint can that's had like a thousand holes stabbed in it. <laughs> But here we go. So, uh, I've got all these holes patched. Like this was a hole. There was a hole over there. Hole there. Hole there. Hole there. Blah blah blah. You guys know. You've seen it last time. I got two cans of uh, etching primer down on the floor. But look at this nice. Yeah. No wonder why the seat was just kind of flopping around in there. The seat attaches like right here somewhere so and as you see there's just nothing there nothing there nothing there nothing there I pulled this up found this just pulled the look at that so yeah found another mouse nest over there <sighs> man guys I gotta admit, this car is already kicking my butt. I knew it had some rust in it, but I didn't think it was this bad. And uh, still not the rustiest car I've ever seen, or worked on, or drove. But uh, I kind of want to start with something a little bit better, you know, foundation for a car that's going to get abused so much. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of counterproductive to use something a little bit better to abuse it, but when you got a better starting point your finish line is a lot closer and I think I just put my finish line real far out there so um, yeah I think I'm gonna come back through here and I think a lot <laughs> I think a lot of this is gonna get um, I don't know maybe fiberglass or something I don't, there's really nothing there to attach to <laughs> So I'm about to come up, be creative. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm about to figure out something. I might just get it to where I could put some front seats back in it and just, you know, get it, get it drivable. Just drive it around a little bit and uh, get used to it. And if the car is just an utter pile of shit, then I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll part it out and we'll start on another project. You know, I'd hate to do that. This is kind of a cool project to start with, but uh, it is. It's a mess. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, even if I made my money back and just all my labor is free, I'd be okay with that. Uh, right now, maybe get me a blazer or something. I don't know. This car is, uh, I like this car. I'm familiar with the back of this car. But man, this thing is just kicking my butt. So, you guys tell me what you think. 
Should I keep the car and keep on going? Should I buy me another project? Should I sell this one? Should I scrap this one? Believe it or not, I think other than the rust, like if I didn't have to do anything other than just get the car running, I think the car would run and drive. I don't know how well. But I can't just leave all that rust and just drive, try to drive the thing because there's just no, there's nothing there. There's no floor. There's no nothing. If I would have never took the carpet up, you know, I would have, I don't even know if I would have tried to drive this thing yet. God, the mouse, the mouse, it still stinks in there. I've cleaned out, I mean, every bit of cloth, everything, and it still smells like mice in there. So I just I pull a panel and something else comes out and I pull a panel and something else comes out and I pull a panel and... Then I see ground. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, I am tired. This video is going to be really crappy because I absolutely do not care. I am gross, and I am beat. And I think I've taken four showers this weekend, and I'm going to take a fifth. And I'm going to rest because I got up this morning and I could barely. <laughs> I could barely walk this morning and then I got up and uh, I knew if I sat there for long enough I wasn't gonna be able to move so I was like okay let's go and then I started working so I think I've hit my limit and I will quit complaining about it because I'm a wuss and I'll talk to you guys later hope you guys have a good weekend uh, I will be at Slamology coming up so good to see you guys there uh, I know I know a few few of you guys are going and I'll get a hold of you guys and meet up with you there. Um, I'll try to stay all day Saturday. Saturday's the day I want to stay pretty much all day. And if everything's still popping off, I'll come back on Sunday. But it just depends. We're all going to be, you know, cooked the first day. And I don't want to be uh, completely wore out for the second day. So, all right. You guys have a good day.